we're gonna stay on the outside of the posted on the outside of the store. Okay. Um, produce. Oranges good. Like all the processed foods. Try to steer clear of anything that's packaged. Apples. You want to, apples are meant to be like the size of a fist. If they're huge apples, count it as two servings. Okay, do half of one. Um, fruit is a seasonal thing. The human body is used to eating fruit seasonally when we can get to it. Just so happens we can always go to the store and get an apple. That doesn't make it like ideal for us. Okay. So it is healthy, yes, but not overdoing it with fruit just because. Um, all the processed breads, stupid. These are all white breads. Okay. Pure energy sources that we're not going to burn. We're not going to end up burning. We're going to end up storing it as fat. Deli. Well, let's look at it. If you look at the meats, for example, does it look like a turkey? No. So it's been processed heavily, salted, turned into something that resembles turkey. The chemicals in it that you are hard to pronounce. Chemicals yeah. that are hard to pronounce that are going to stick to your digestive system and mess with your digestive system. Um, It'll be hard. I don't know if it'll be as hard for you guys as me, but it's really easy and I always consider it somewhat healthy to go grab a pound of turkey and then eat that as sandwiches. But that's processed meat. That's not that's not a turkey. It's turkey pieces that have been smashed together and then sliced up. Tastes delicious, but it's not healthy. Expensive, but I mean tasty. Again, we don't always fruit is seasonal, we don't always need it. These are examples of huge apples. This would be a two serving apple. Mushrooms are good for you, but on the 24 day challenge, you want to avoid them on the first 10 days. Again, fungus, fungi, feeding the bad bacteria. Um, we want to flush the bacteria, then fungus is okay. They're good for you, actually. Good benefit, but not during the first 10 days. Um, Lisa, you want to add your two cents on the mushrooms? Guys, Canned versus... Oh, stay away from canned mushrooms. You want to go fresh. I was watching Dr. Oz one day, and he opened a can of mushrooms and poured out a thing of maggots. And maggots? Then, yeah, they're processed and they're cooked uh, maggot eggs, but you're ingesting them. So you want to go fresh. Fresh. Okay. Right. Um, lettuce. <laughs> so, Trisha, if you're building a salad, which bag of lettuce would you pick up? Mixed Down greens. There. Mixed greens. Mixed or spinach. So, yeah. Box. You're talking about some green Yeah, green something mix. like that or the, yeah. Okay. When you're, how about you guys? What would you pick up? I tend to go for the remains. Remain. Yeah, same stuff. here. For leaves. Remain hearts. Yeah. Okay, something to keep in mind with lettuce and salad. This, see how it's clear? There's not much color to it. Very little nutritional value. Versus spinach, the dark colors. Darker the better. Uh, arugula, the spinach, dark, dark leafy greens. Good mix. Okay, it doesn't look that good. So this, is what, this is good. That's what I buy. Yeah. This kind of thing. Yeah. Better. Definitely better than like your ice bird selection. Yeah. Tastes like water. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Very little nutritional value. Um, you guys know the fork trick when you're eating salad? Fork trick? Fork trick. You take your fork and dip the fork into the salad dressing and then pick up the lettuce, like fork the lettuce. And then the last thing that you eat, the lettuce, the dressings on your lips and on your tongue versus drenching your salad in it and then you're ingesting the whole three tablespoons or two tables, however much of the unhealthy salad dressing. So we usually use the yogurt or... You make your own salad dressing? Just yogurt. Just yogurt. Okay. Instead of dressing. You put yogurt. yogurt. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. It is interesting. Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. Oh. Greek yogurt. Good choice. Or, Flavored or plain? Or with olive oil. Olive oil is a good choice as well. Lemon, some lemon. Lemon, good. And, I like, and I like some lemon, yeah. Goddess dressing. 
because it seems like all breasts have too much stuff in it. Yes, they do. Sweet potatoes, yams. Commonly misconception sweet potatoes. potatoes. They make pies on Thanksgiving out of for sweet potato pie, right? It's delicious. And they make it with and it's orange, it's a deep red orange color. And they make it with yams. When really this is sweet potatoes. It's the white. It, it's like similar con uh, textured cork. Cork, yeah. Um, light, lighter than a potato. Um, springy, creamy. When you when you've been on a diet full of these, you can feel the difference in your body's composition. It's it's impressive. So is it good? Very good. Instead of potatoes. Versus potatoes. This is number one, number two, number three. Oh, pasta is okay as long as it's that 100% whole wheat. 100% whole wheat. Okay, meaning that it still has a lot of fiber. Still has a lot of. It hasn't been put through too much of a process. They haven't extracted the energy source from the fiber before they built the pasta. Wow. It's awesome food. Quinoa is one of the best foods you can eat. It's got good protein content to go along with the carb. Um, they also saw it at Costco, big bag of it for like $12.50. Um, I try to always go for fresh cotton. And then also one thing to watch for is that has the fish been dyed? And if it has, then you probably want to find one that hasn't been dyed because it was probably clearer at one point. You put the dye into the color, and then you think you're eating a healthier food. Really, you're eating one that has less nutrient dense. So versus the salmon, um, wild caught, so you can tell that's probably the best cut right there. Okay, 170 calories, and this is 140 per serving. And this is one serving. Um, saturated fat, 1.5, so very low fat food, right? They can even sell it as healthy because it's low in fat. Um, fat over here, zero grams. Okay, saturated zero. So that's Greek. This is the Greek still winning. Um, how about carbs? How you guys doing on 16. carbs? 16. 16, this one's? 18. 33. Uh, Nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, protein? Five. Eleven. Five. And 23. Huh. So this is starting to stack your protein up. Remember, we're very protein deficient in our diets. We have way too much carbs. So this, it's plain and it's not the best tasting. How but much if, sugars in there? Zero. Zero. Zero sugar. So this or no, nine sugars. Nine. Excuse me. But is that fat free? Yes. Okay, Entirely fat. fat. What's the serving size? Because I plain think has no fat. Serving I size? I think the serving size is going to be low fat. Eight ounces, and this is six ounces. The carbs are still 18 here, and it's how many? 23 there. Carbs? Nine. And protein? 23. And this, I want to eat that too, yeah. yeah. So, so if you have to, this is the all uh -huh. ideal. Um, and if you add your own fruit or sugar, you, at least you know what you're adding. Right. And you can count it up. And it's a whole food. Right. And you can okay. eat two ounces more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bigger serving size is what she's getting out there. Steer clear of all the nuts in this section. The ones in these sections are going to be, have something glazed, roasted in salt, sugar, unsalted, unsalted unroasted, raw. in the raw. So that's clear? Yep. They're actually better. They are good, and especially once you get your taste buds reset. Tacos. Tacos. Lots of them. Can I have an over and please? Whole wheat tortilla. Save the low carb and high fiber. Yep. Oh, yep. The corn. No. No. Whole wheat. Oh, whole wheat. Corn's not necessarily good for you. Low carb. Um, the the flour is clearly a white food. Strongly endorse these right here. 100 calories, 100% whole wheat. Minis. Okay. Yep. You can just like. 
dietary fiber, sugars, two. That's kicking butt. Okay. Sugar in these, five to two. Fiber. Fiber to sugar. So when you look up, when you pick up bread, yeah. you want to look. You want to make sure that the fiber is higher than the sugar. Fiber higher than sugar. Right. Five to two. Seed bread. Let me see it. Uh, Ashley, can I do this? Fiber five, sugar four. Um, this this is good bread. Good, good bread. Six protein. Um, 22 carbs, six protein. But you're so gonna that's put not the worst ratio because you're gonna find some proteins to put on it most likely. Yeah. Right. Like a whole turkey, just leading with whole wheat and, or wheat and rich, not 100% whole wheat. There's other whole grain white. Okay, that's another way they try to mislead you. Whole grain white. That's not 100% whole wheat. Um, bagels are loaded. They're just more dense with the carbs. And if you don't use the carbs, they can end up stored as good. <laughs> good. Any questions? No. Cheese. Cheese. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Mozzarella stick. Um, but when we're when we're really eating well, we don't eat much cheese. They do we'll save up for a pizza or something. If you're desperate and you don't want to do cheese, it doesn't taste like cheese though. No, it's pricey and. Well, the main reason you're against dairy. Because it feeds the bad bacteria in your oh. digestive What if you have like Greek yogurt and full of all the acidophobifidus and all the, the bacteria? Yeah, in it? like here and there. I just. A lot of people aren't even eating anything without cheese on it, and it should be like. Periodically have tea. It should be completely flipped from how they live. Um, and dairy doesn't ever, it doesn't sit right in the stomach. It never has. We're the only animal that's keen on another animal's milk. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Naturally, only babies need milk yeah. to start growing, and after that, milk is not needed. Right. As a nutrient. So, any, anything else while we're here? Any other questions, comments, concerns? No? We did the damn thing, that was pretty well.